Hello everybody, and welcome to a new tutorial. This tutorial is going to go over the Swift 4 programming language and how to end up making a very simple to-do list application. We'll be using Apple's Xcode, which you can end up getting off of the App Store for free. This is the first part of the tutorial, which is going to go over the user interface and how to lay it out. For this project, mind you, we ended up creating it from a template from the single view application template, which you can find under File, New, Project. To start off this tutorial, when you first open up Xcode, it's going to look something like this. This is your main user interface for Xcode, but what I want to concentrate on first with you is just getting the user interface laid out for our application. So to the far left side of the screen, you have several different options, but the one to end up putting your user interface on is known as the main dot storyboard. If we left click on this once, our main window here is going to turn into a development screen. This is basically mimicking what your smart device is going to look like. So what we need to do is we need to add elements to make this be able to come to life. To the bottom right of your screen should be what's known as the object library. And this is filled with a lot of different options that you can end up putting on your application. So let's start off by giving it a name, a very simple one. I'm going to go down here to the search bar, and I'm just going to type in the word label. This is just a generic static text. And what I can do is left click and drag it right onto my board and let it go. Once it ends up appearing, if I want to change what the text says inside, I can double click and then rename it. Once I'm done renaming, all I have to do is hit the return key and that's going to save what I just typed. So now that we have a title, the next thing we need to do in order to make a to-do list come true is be able to actually type in what we need to do later on in the day. So I'm gonna go back down to my object library and I'm gonna end up typing in the word text. I get two different options. And the one that I want is the text field. So I'm going to left click, drag it right up here underneath to do list, let go. And then I'm just going to scale it a little bit. That way I have a little bit more room to add something that might be lengthy. And right after I'm done adding the text field, I'm also going to add a text view. This text view, by the way, is just for demonstration purposes. We will be removing this later. But this is the area where you're going to end up seeing your actual items appear as you list them and as you add them to your schedule. Now what I want to do is I want to also add another little text here or a label here that says my list. So instead of going back down to my object library, I'm just going to left click once on my to do list, hold down the option key and then left click and drag it down like so and let go right there. Once I let go, I'm going to rename this to my list. Now I almost have everything set up, but the last thing I need to be able to do is have a button that's going to end up being able to send what I type in here down here to this list. So I'm going to go back down to my object library one last time, write in button, and then I'm going to left click and drag this all the way up here to the right. And then I'm going to change the name of the button. Something easy like submit, maybe schedule, maybe even add. But overall, this is how simplistic my application for now is going to look as we learn a little bit more about Xcode. In the next part of the tutorial, we're going to end up connecting these different windows, inputs, and actions in order to be able to work with our coding. 